everybody. Welcome back to part two. Uh, we are making a little pocket size file folder um, that will hold, you know, various pieces of ephemera. And as I said before in the previous video, you could add some photos, um, a small journal to it. Um, but we're going to jump in today and get started uh, filling this in a bit. So the first thing I think, I'm going to leave, you know, the belly band to the last because depending on how thick it is, um, I don't want to measure it right now because this is going to bulk up. So the very first thing I've decided to do here is I want to make a little vellum pocket because I love this uh, paper. And I think that this is going to be really pretty just to have a vellum so that we can see that paper through. This is one of the... Um, dies I've got. I'm trying to think if I've got the package. Yeah, this is a Sizzix die and unfortunately guys I can't recall the name of this because I don't I don't have uh, an Amazon shop anymore. <laughs> and when I buy mine I take all the packaging out and just um, put them inside of a holder I've got. So it's a Sizzix, so you could look that up and um, if you're if you're interested in that. So what I've done is I've cut that out, I've glued that, and now I'm just going to glue this down and then we're going to have to snip around that just to get the little uh, notched corner there. So I've made a few notes on um, things that I think are going to look nice to add to this and I've just kind of pinned some ideas on stuff I want to do uh, throughout. So I'm just going to snip this. What I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and add a little bit of ephemera to this. Um, and then that way we can see how this is going to start filling in. And I want to do a couple of tags for this today. I think a couple of small pockets, and I, I don't quite know yet what we're going to do with those, but I've got the tags cut. <clears throat> so let me just add a few. These are all my porch prints. Um, in her shop, she's got all kinds of kits and I've been working with Stephanie for a while so I've got I've got quite a bit of her stuff you know various kits like I said this is like a shabby chic a flash card I love that so I'll just tuck all those in there here like I said I think I'll do a couple of small pockets that we can add a couple of little tags to these are just some tags of had previously made up, and I thought I would just tuck those into two tiny pockets there. So this is um, another bit of her ephemera, and I think this was like a shabby rose. I'm just going to make a couple of pockets out of these two images here. I think those would be very cute. So I hope everybody's um, having a nice summer. Um, it doesn't feel like summer. I don't know how you guys are feeling about it, but it does not feel like summer at all here. Paul and I went out. Uh, yesterday was Paul's birthday. We went out uh, this morning. We were going to have a nice walk. And... Uh, and then had a lunch, and um, 
nothing's open. <laughs> it's quite depressing. So we didn't even, we have very, very short walk because we ended up driving guys for three hours. We were in the car for three hours with Daisy and um, in the end we just had to let Daisy out because she was going crazy in the back and um, we let her stretch her legs, get a drink of water and we just finally gave up and came home. It's so, so sad. I cannot tell you guys how depressing it is to even go out here. I don't know what's going on in this world. I'm getting very, very worried that it's going to, you know, all of the, they keep reinforcing the new norm. And if this is the new norm, they can have it. Very, very strange. So, yeah, um, I told him, I said, well, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't think that that's how today was going to go. So, um, I told him, I said, why don't we just, the next nice day, I'll rearrange my schedule. And uh, the next nice day of good weather, we'll go for a picnic and have a walk. Um, because nothing, as I said, nothing's open opening back up and uh, what can you do? Okay, so these little um, shabby chic tags I had from years ago um, a journal and I've been keeping it but it gotten broken down and I thought oh I'm just going to take it apart so I actually because I love these, these were Pion, Pion papers, P-I-O-N P-I-O-N or Pion I think they were, um, it's a Scandinavian company, if I'm not mistaken. And I used to be able to get their papers at a little local craft shop here, but she went out of business probably four or five years ago. Gosh, what did I do? Did I glue that down? Oh gosh, I thought I was losing my mind there, guys. And uh, I used to be able to get the papers from her, but she went out of business, like I said, four or five years back. So, unfortunately, it's very difficult to get them, but they are beautiful, shabby chic papers. Oh, gosh, they're some of the nicest around. But that's starting to look good. Now, this, I can already see I'm going to want to come back and do something that. That's quite plain. But... If that would hold it, that might be nice. Yeah, I'll keep that. That's a little a bit of lace, and I love that little bird paper clip. Isn't that sweet? I'll keep that in there, I think. So on this page, let me see what I was thinking here. I think I'm thinking a belly band. And then I could tuck some larger... Um, journaling cards, so I think I might do a nice wide belly band for that. But let's go ahead and do a couple of tags for those, those two pockets there. And I want to do a bit of stamping on here. So yes, unfortunately guys, my voice is not improving. And um, so I am sorry if this is quiet, but... Uh, because I didn't jump up and do the video straight away. My voice is, is just not holding out. <clears throat> so, I am sorry about that, but there's very little I can do, I'm afraid. I've taken another um, decongestant, and I'm hoping that that'll help, maybe. I really don't want to go to the doctor. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to all, you know, when all the pollen goes, maybe it'll clear up a bit.
So, um, yeah, my garden's coming along. The tomatoes are, are, are um, I'm thinking in the next week I'm going to have tomatoes uh, that should be ripe and ready to pick. We've got runner beans and some green beans. And that's really all that we've managed. Um, we planted quite a lot of stuff and we found that some of it was just too big for the spot that we put in. So we've ended up really just down to tomatoes and green beans. But that's okay. It was it was just really enjoyable just to get out and do the garden. I'm just so grateful to have a place where we could get out and do that this year. So I've just got a couple of things that these were already cut out and I thought I'm just going to take advantage of clearing some of these um, bits of ephemera that I've had laying around for a while. So I'm just going to make a couple of little cards. I'll probably, after, before the next part, guys, I'm probably going to run these through the machine just to give them a little bit more texture, but I won't do it today because it's stopping and starting. And um, I just wanted you guys to see, you know, the next step in this, and then we will carry on with part three. Uh, but I will go ahead and stitch around that. I think that they need a, a little bit of stitching. So now you can see it's starting to, you know, get some really nice layers now, I think. Um, I think I want to do a little bit of something lace on each side of that if I can squeeze something small. I'm just so afraid of getting it too thick. I don't want to bulk it up too, too much. That's some of that fabric, um, or not fabric, uh, the rosette trim that you can get. Um, well, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure online you can probably get a bit of that. I think over here I'll just put a little bit of the leaf, leaf trim along that side because I don't want to add too much bulk to this. So yeah, if you guys are doing anything for summer, let me know. It's uh, nice to hear if anybody else is doing anything. Okay. Here, I think I'd like to have a flip up so you could do some writing. Um, let me see if I can get a piece of notebook paper.
Okay, so this is just something I found in my stash. I'm thinking I'm going to use that as a flip up. I was not going to use that paper, but I think I think that would be better. And then I'm going to put if I can find my fussy cuts. Let's see if I've got some flowers cut out here that I could use. I don't know guys, I've reorganized and I'm not sure <laughs> not sure where they went. Okay, give me a second, let me see here. All right, guys, I'm sorry about this. I, I don't know. This is very, very disorganized today. Let me see if I can find something. <sighs> hmm, okay. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this, guys, and get something printed, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. I finally had to print out some of the little rose fussy cuts here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of cheesecloth. Just get that put down, and then I think what I want to do is um, get that as a little flip up. Now this is a um, my porch prints. So I've got some washi tape. That I think I'm going to use. I'll use that pink. And um, I've lined the back of that with just some um, lined paper. And then I'm just going to get this down with washi. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of glue because sometimes this washi tape doesn't always want to hold very well, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that. Alright, let me get this out so this will go flat. Hope I've got that straight. <laughs> Hopefully I've got that straight. Let me move this over slightly. Yep. Oh goodness. Okay. Let me move this just a little bit over. Okay, so now that's going to flip over. You can do some writing here. You could have a photo here, so I'm actually happy with that side. Um, don't know what I'm going to do here yet, so I'm probably just going to leave that for the moment, guys. And I'm not going to put any more um, 
into this at the moment because that I still don't know what I want to do with. The next one I'm going to add a belly band and then we'll start working on these which I've got some ideas. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do on that one either. But I think I want to make a belly band for here. So we'll do that in the next step. So I feel like we've done pretty good today. We at least got uh, three sides done. So I hope you're enjoying how that's coming. You can see it's it's starting to bulk up a little bit and this is what I want to be careful of. I don't want it to get too bulky because I want this to be as a um, you know a great idea for happy mail so everything we do I'm going to try to, to not let it get too out of hand. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that today and uh, stay tuned because I've got part three coming up. Take care of yourselves guys and I'll be back soon.